The following is presented by Craftsy. Explore more innovative photo techniques with Nicole D'Alessio at Craftsy.com. Hi, I'm Nicole D'Alessio, and I'm going to show you how to make a surreal composition with several photos using Adobe Photoshop. Basically, I'm going to mask out several different images or subjects and composite them into one photo to make a very magical background. And then I'm also going to add a surreal kind of swirly wind to the background photo. I'm going to be starting with a background photo. And as you see, I have a picture of a boy at sunset and his silhouette shows because the sun is behind him, but you could still see the surprised expression on his face. I have a copy of my background image on the top, so in case I make a mistake, I can easily fix it. Next, I'm going to go into my filter menu, and I'm going to add the liquify filter. Now over here, I have several settings, but I'm going to stick with the one that's already set in place. And I already liked my brush size, but you can adjust it bigger or smaller as needed. And then what I'm going to do is just simply kind of like paint the swirls right on the photo and it's going to be distorting the sky, kind of mixing up the colors. And I can do this in several different areas, being sure not to run into any other part of the image. And I'm going to add some over here. And sometimes if you get too close to the edge, it will pull the, the top of the photo off or the edge of the photo off. So I can always kind of scooch it over however I need to. So I'm going to go around and work around my photo. And then out, down towards the bottom of the sky, I'm just going to add a little bit of jiggle to make it the horizon a little wavier. So as you can see, I have a very magical effect. When I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and press OK. So now I'm done with my background photo. Next, I'm going to go over to a photo of a man flying. Actually, he's on top of a ladder, but I'm going to make him look like he's flying. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my background, just in case I make a mistake, and I'll turn this one off for starters, making sure I'm selecting on my top one. The next thing I'm going to do is take my lasso tool and make a very rough selection just to get started. And what I want to do is knock out everything else except that. So I'm going to do Select Inverse and go ahead and Delete. And I just have him left. Now I can go with the Eraser tool. And I'm going to select a hardness of 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and just erase some other big areas around. And over here, there's a color that doesn't match. And particularly, the area around the ladder is going to be the trickiest part. So I can get in a little bit closer over here. I'm going to kind of just stick to his shape here, even though the ladder is showing. And we'll take care of that later. All right, so I'm going to work around my photo a little bit just using the eraser tool just to get some of the bigger areas. Next, a lot of the part that I want to get rid of is about the same color. So I'm going to go over to my toolbar and select my magic wand tool. And I can go ahead and click on the outside here. And I can start deleting little areas, doing Command D after each part. Delete, Command D, delete, Command D. Now it's not perfect, but I can also go one more time around with the eraser tool to get any stray pixels left behind. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect because later on we're going to reduce the size of him. And so any little fine details or mistakes won't be able to be visible. OK, so now I did a pretty good job of that. I still need to get rid of this little ladder here. So I'm going to add one more layer. And I'm going to add some black and just paint over the part of the ladder, selecting a black brush making my breast a little bit smaller with a bracket tool, and just painting over the areas of the ladder. Once again, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it gets to be a lot smaller later on. OK. You can always zoom in just to see if it looks OK. And I think I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and 
merge these two layers together. So layer, merge down. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out again. And I'm going to call this flying. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and plop my elements back into my background copy of the umbrella. Next, I'm going to go get my flying man. I'm going to use the lasso tool. Make a selection around him again. Command C, go over to my umbrella boy. Command V to plop him in place. He's too big, so I'm going to do Command T. And hold the shift key down to constrain proportions. Go in the corner and make him a lot smaller. Then I can scooch him over to wherever I want in the photo. I'm going to put him in the top right hand corner. Make him even a little bit smaller. I like that place and I'm going to press the check mark and once again reducing the opacity. And now I'm done. All I have to do is flatten my layers. For more cool techniques like this, check out my class on Craftsy.com.